Real quick on a little side note, I did the top 10 most frustrating characters video the other day and someone commented on it and said that their number one is Dolores Umbridge from the Harry Potter series and I was like, how? How did I miss Dolores Umbridge? She's so on the list! So just little addendum, can we add that in? Dolores Umbridge, top 10 most frustrating characters, she's on it, okay? Her name is firmly etched into skin on that list. Hi guys, this is my February TBR, or To Be Red Pile. This month, mostly, I'll be reading fairy tales to prepare for Fairy Tale Fortnite, but I don't know which ones I'll really be reading yet. I still have to do a lot of emailing and figuring out who's going to be involved and um, which review books will be coming in and things like that. So, for the most part, my TBR is a little bit up in the air and I might have to do an updated TBR about halfway through the month. But I do have some books that I know I will definitely be reading this month, so I'm going to show you guys those. Siege by Sarah Mosey. This comes out in March, so I need to get it read this month. Um, I had it in last month's pile as a maybe. I wasn't sure if I was going to get to it, and I didn't, so I'm moving it on to February. Sounds really intriguing, really dark. I read a couple pages to get an idea of the style, and it seems a little stream of consciousness, which can be really good and really bad, so hopefully I'll find it really engaging and want to stick with it, but either way, I've got to read it in February so I can review it. Relish, My Life in the Kitchen by Lucy Nisley. This is pretty much just meant to tick all of my boxes. It's a graphic novel, it's a memoir, and it is a foodie diary essentially. Um, it has recipes and really fun, bright style to it. But basically, all I needed to know was that it was a foodie memoir told in graphic novel, and I was sold. I was so ready for it. So this one, I believe, comes out this spring. Well, let me find out for you. Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, yes, it does. This comes out in April, um, so I don't necessarily have to read it this month, but I'm gonna. And same with Jerusalem by Boaz Yakin and Nick Bertozzi. Another sort of memoir style, though I don't think it actually is a memoir. Let me just go ahead and read this little thing. This book is um, sort of based on one of the author's own experiences about the sort of founding of Israel. So it follows three generations of a family, um, you know, throughout that sort of very tumultuous time. I always think graphic novels make a really interesting format for stories of that type which is what has made me really curious about it. And sort of just flipping casually through, it looks like it's going to be really gripping. So this one comes out in April as well, but I will let you know what I thought of it at the end of this month. I may try to read Midwinter Blood by Marcus Sedgwick as well, but it's really just going to depend on time and mood. I am afraid that if I don't read it this month, it's in danger of slipping down the pile because then I'll be in full fairy tale mode, and after that is Jane Austen. So I want to try to get it read this month, but... I don't really know. First Frost by Liz de Jesus, which I have had waiting for me forever now and I need to read it already. And we will have Liz participating in Fairy Tale Fortnite this year. But the only other book I know I will for sure be reading this month and I am so geeked about is Strands of Bronze and Gold by Jane Nickerson. This is a retelling of Bluebeard. I have talked before about how I like the darker, disturbing fairy tales, and I don't know that you can get too much darker than Bluebeard. You can. There are worse stories out there. But, I mean, Bluebeard is it's pretty near the top, and there aren't really retellings of it. And so when Bonnie, my co-host for Fairy Tale Fortnite, and I were talking about, you know, planning for this year and which books we definitely wanted to get our hands on, this was the first book we both mentioned, and this was the first book I sent a request for. So I am super geeked, I'm jazzed, I'm ready to go on this. Um, it might be the first book I pick up this month. I am just, I am ready. So this will be covered in Fairy Tale Fortnite. Um, hopefully, maybe I can get some participation from Jane as well. And as I said, everything else I will be reading this month will be fairy tale based. This month's stack of five is another fairy tale one, so you guys can decide which fairy tale I'll be doing a video review of. It's a completely new stack from last month, though, so you still want to check it out and vote for me. Beyond that, um, it's really just going to depend on once I get my round of emailing done, just which books I'm going to have review copies for, which authors want to participate. Um, that will determine which books I'll be doing, and then from there, I'll fill in with the books that I own. So it's up in the air for now, but definitely let me know what you think of the books that I'll be reading this month, and if you have suggestions of fairy tales that you would like me to read for Fairy Tale Fortnite, or authors you want to see me get involved, 
definitely let me know in the comments. Make sure to check out my stack of five and vote on that. And check out my January Rewind, which is long because I read a lot in January. And let me know what you think of the books that I read last month. And of course you can link up your own February reading piles as a video response below or as a vlog or blog post on the linky at thebookrat.com. Until next time, that's all for me. Happy reading. Bluebeard, I'm excited. Yay!